Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Andrew and welcome to Big Tree Outdoors. Uh, so, I'm out here today in Capitol State Forest in Olympia, Washington. Um, it's New Year's Eve and the weather is halfway decent, so I wanted to take advantage of it while I could. Uh, so I decided to come out and just have a fire, hang out, you know, cook up some dinner in a little while and just kind of relax. Um, there's a lot of other people out here today as well. I'm sure you can hear some of them shooting in the background. Um, so I think a lot of people have the same idea as me. Just get out and relax while the weather's good. Um, yeah. So probably not going to camp. Uh, I like coming out here and finding a place to hang out, but as far as staying here overnight and... It, I'm just not feeling it. A lot of the places, a lot of the sites I found are just... I mean, they kind of look like the town dump. This place, even before I picked it up, you know, so I would feel comfortable hanging out here. It was kind of trashy to the point where I almost didn't want to be here, but decided just to move some stuff out of the way uh, and have a fire. I knew about this site from last time I was here and I knew there was already firewood so I figured you know rather than spend most of the day looking around and not finding anything I just decided to suck it up and hang out here for a bit um, it's kind of unfortunate that's how it is but what are you going to do that's you know a lot of people treat this place like it's the town dump so try not to dwell on that too much it's hard not to <laughs> spend a lot of time thinking about that when I'm out here just because it's you know I think a lot of people just look past it and kind of move on with their lives and you know once I leave here I will too but when you're trying to find a nice place to hang out it gets kind of frustrating so um, I'll leave it at that so yeah like I said probably gonna cook some dinner in a little bit uh, and just relax and enjoy the fire for a while. So hang out, and uh, we'll update you when I start to cook. And at some point, I'll probably give you a tour around the camp and just show you what I'm talking about with the garbage. It's from what I've seen so far, it's impossible to get away from around here. So you know, once uh, once spring hits and I can get back into the Cascades. I probably won't come here again, at least until next winter. Um, so yeah, I mean, even in the Cascades, there are places that are just as trash, but it's not, it's not as common. And you know, in the Cascades, you know, if I see a little bit of garbage, I'll pick it up here. I'm not going to waste my time because, like I said, it's you know, some people use these campsites like the town dump. And unfortunately, that's not really exaggerating too much. <laughs> Some of the places, it's not exaggerating at all. I've seen multiple full garbage bags just left thrown about campsites. But anyway, moving on from that. So yeah, I'll update you guys when I start to cook. I'll give you a tour of camp at some point. So sit back and enjoy. All right, guys, I'm going to do a little tour of uh, camp where I'm at. Um, so there's the fire pit. Uh, right behind it is the original fire pit that's kind of collapsed, I guess. I don't know. I didn't feel like using it um, for a couple reasons. One, there wasn't as good of a place to sit around it. And two, right there looks like somebody was building a little cabin and just to show you so that is my garbage but that's the only thing that's my garbage so all this other stuff uh, this was kind of thrown right over there right behind where my car is parked um, and right next to the little wood pile that they have there um, so yeah, a little bit of garbage storage, I guess. Um, so fire pit, stacked wood. 
this is I guess just the parking spot or you know you could put a tent here if you wanted um, but just walking over here you know there's more garbage there's more garbage um, over here is more garbage that's a blind for you know a window in like a house so you know it's a lot of the gar a lot of the stuff here you could say well somebody was just lazy and didn't want to clean up after camping but that is you know obviously somebody just came out here and threw that so that's nice um whoop, careful so that's where you drive down right at the top there is just the road off of one of the main lines in capital state forest so it's really not that far out it's not hard to get to um but you know continuing on the garbage theme there's some more garbage there's some more garbage um and all up this little driveway there's just little bits of garbage everywhere so um it sucks but it is what it is and like i said before you know i'm not opposed to picking up a little bit of garbage here and there in the cascades i will i actually just bought some uh contractor bags to throw in my car just so when i found some garbage i wouldn't have to worry about a shitty garbage bag breaking and getting garbage juice all over my car um but I'm not going to do that here. I'm not going to waste a garbage bag here because it's, well, it's a waste of time. So, uh, so there's my car. So I was thinking last time I was here, when I found this spot, I was thinking this would actually be like a great place to set up. Well, let me back up here. Uh, right behind where I'm parked would actually be like a great place to set up. A little tarp shot there in camp. Um, it's nice and flat. Uh, the only problem is, you know, you'd be digging garbage out of the ground. So, trying not to dwell on this <laughs> old garbage theme too much is just, it's difficult for me not to. It really, it really rubs me the wrong way. It's not, you know, it's not difficult to clean up after yourself. But anyway. Yeah, so that's that. It's frustrating. What are you gonna do? So, all right guys, so fire's starting to die down a bit. I'm trying to decide if I wanna stoke the fire one more time before cooking dinner, or if I just wanna cook dinner. I'm kinda leaning towards stoking the fire again, uh, just because it's a little early to be cooking dinner. It's only quarter after four, um, but I did want to kind of sit down and just discuss uh, Big Tree Outdoors and, and what the plans are for this channel in the future. So, um, really, really, uh, just to put it simply, I want to do, I want to make some camping videos, partially because uh, people that do make them, it seems like they enjoy it, and partially because I think I would enjoy it. Um, and you know, I've kind of wanted to make a YouTube channel for a long time, so here we are, I guess. I think my next several videos probably will be very similar to this, just kind of day trips. Um, it is winter in Washington, it's New Year's Eve, as I said earlier. Um, and most of the places that I could get to or would want to get to are not accessible right now, like up at Snoqualmie Pass, there's you know, however much snow they have up there. Um, I spend a lot of time in Greenwater in the summer just exploring the roads, the forest roads around there. They're not accessible, at least, at least the ones I'm familiar with aren't accessible. And even if they were, you know, the old cross track is not, uh, not exactly the most capable rig in the world capable enough that you know I'm comfortable going on the forest service roads but um, yeah it's no it's no off-roader let's put it that way so uh, but yeah so you know maybe a few videos like this just to kind of 
maybe get in the swing of things, see see how they go. Um, and then in the spring, I'd like to get back into the Forest Service roads and do some more overlanding, camping type stuff. Um, I use overland, I use the term overlanding lightly again because of the Subaru, which you know does all right. But like I said, it's it's no off roader. Um, so yeah, maybe do you know do some of those kind of trips, some camp out trips in the place that isn't basically a local garbage dump. Um, maybe do a few bike packing trips. I'm not real sure I'm gonna do that just because a lot of the places I feel like I would want to go, I would not be comfortable leaving my car. Um, and starting from my apartment would be fine for like a shorter trip and a shorter overnight, but that would be kind of more like stealing a page out of Steve Wallace's book and doing uh, like urban stealth camp type of thing. So maybe we'll do something like that as well. We'll see, but yeah, stay tuned. Um, like I said, I think a lot of the content, at least a lot of the content immediately coming up is gonna be more low key, get in the swing of things, see how it goes. And then once spring hits, I'm hoping to do uh, some more actual camp out videos uh, in some much nicer locations so stay tuned and we'll see what happens All right, guys. So for dinner, got grilled broccoli because I forgot my um, skillet. So didn't really plan on doing it this way, but that's what I got. And I don't want to wait to eat till I get home. So some grilled broccoli uh, and some kielbasa. So. Should be pretty good. Um, you know, it's not going to be the meal of the century, but it'll be good enough for the, for here. Let's give the old kielbasas a check here. Oh yeah. Nope. Be a little crispy. I didn't think these coals were that hot, but I guess they are. Oh yeah, that is hot. Hmm. Actually. like really good actually do broccoli on the grill more often that's like that was a really good piece of broccoli apparently I'm just destined to drop all my food today. Kibasa, nice.
Well, it's like the third time I've dropped a piece of food today. Maybe fourth, I don't know. I don't know that I've ever grilled broccoli before. This is all a little charred, but that's right. Alright, so dinner's done. Um, just gonna reorganize my fire here so I can try and burn down these big pieces before heading on out of here. Um, I like to get them burned down as much as I can just so the coals aren't that big. Um, You know, I'm not not worried about starting a forest fire. It's been raining for a week straight here. Uh, but I also don't want to be irresponsible and just just leave a hazard for somebody. No, I don't think it would be, but so we'll try and get some flames built up on here again throw the grate on there to burn off any residue so I can throw it back in my bag uh, and then once the fire is burned down enough I'll pretty much be ready to head out of here all right guys so it's pretty much time to head on out of here um, I forgot that I actually brought plenty of water so I am gonna actually douse this I mean we'd be fine but Better to be safe than sorry, you know. So, just gonna get this thing kicked down a little bit. There we go. I'm calling that good enough. <laughs> 